Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Vumeo Station. Good, Boss of Lumio Station. How's it going, everybody? Got for you guys today a live battle. This time it's going to be against Afe Bay. I will leave his Twitter link and channel link down in the description. I have battled Afe Bay before on my channel, so definitely know he's going to put up a good fight. Now, unfortunately, due to me being extremely busy today and this really being the only time I can record, I was not exactly able to get an NU battle, although I was able to get a PU battle, which is kind of like a step below NU, so. In a sense, it's still kind of NU, uh, then I guess, hey, it's kind of not, because technically all of these Pokemon are in NU, so I can't really say it's not an NU battle, but it's not like the proper NU, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I want to just go ahead and say thank you for the amazing, amazing support that was shown on last week's uh, live Wi-Fi battle, which is an Uber's battle. I think we got like 460 likes, which is just amazing, so if you guys do enjoy this, then Make sure to uh, hit that like button. And let's take a look at my team. I have Bend and Metatite, uh, Bulky Setup, Coil Arbok, uh, Swadloon, which is what this team is based around because it's based around Sticky Web, Combuskin, uh, Rotom Freeze as my Scarfer, and then Behemoth as my Assault Vest Euster and kind of Special Wall. And looking at threats on AFA base team, uh, that Fracture could actually be a huge, huge problem. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. But I still think my best lead is just going to be my cast, not my casting, but my uh, Swadloon. Just because I can uh, get on my sticky web and give me an advantage right off of the bat of this battle. So uh, hold on. Alright, so uh, sorry about that. I had to get my charger. Anyways, he ends up getting off this Abstraica. And honestly, as I said, just getting on my sticky web is my main priority right now. As he's just going to go straight for the overheat. I do have a focus ash just because I want to be able to ensure that I can get on my sticky web. I used to have Eviolite on this uh, swan, but I decided to change it up. And... Make sure to leave a comment down below, guys, letting me know uh, which tier you would like me to see do next. And you can choose from um, NU, RU, UU, Ubers, and Mixed tier, where it's like 2 NU. Uh, well, 2 like RU. Or two, uh, <laughs> I don't know what exactly Mixed tier is, but if you would like to see a Mixed tier in NU, a UU, in Ubers, or RU Battle, then just, uh, just uh, comment down below. So. You end up going straight for the overheat as I'm able to live thanks to my focus ash. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter what I go for, but on the off chance that he decides to hard switch for some reason, I'm going to go for the baton pass. As he actually does just straight up hard switch out into throw. This is actually really, really good because you know what this means? I can now get a basically free switch into my behemoth. So that was a really... Really nice play on my part, if I do say so myself. And let's see, I am most likely just gonna bring in my Behem because I really, I really think I have no reason not to. Um, although I could also bring in my Metatite, which I am Adam and Choice Banded, and I do have the Zen Headbutt, which I don't even think Leafeon will be appreciating. Uh, let's take a look at Behem. I do have Psychic as opposed to Dark Pulse, but. Still, that should be doing a good amount of damage to him. Although, I think I'm going to make the uh, uh, more aggressive play and actually bring in my my Metatite. Just because I don't want to risk him possibly staying in, knowing he can take a Psychic. So, by bringing in my Metatite, I can force him to want to bring in the Leafeon. And I am adamant Choice Bandit with Zen Headbutt and Pure Power. So, this will be doing a whole lot of damage to whatever he decides to bring in. I took a sip of something to drink. As he does switch directly into the Leafeon. I mean, I could have gone for the Ice Punch, but I knew that Zen Headbutt in the long run would be my safest play to do. As you can see there, I unfortunately get a crit. Wow, that's actually really lucky on my part. Um, unfortunately, though, I will not be able to knock him out with another 
a Zen headbutt. So let's see, what do I want to do? A uh, worst case scenario, he just goes for a possible wish or Zen, uh, not Zen headbutt, but a wish or synthesis. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just switch back into my Swad Loon. This way I can maybe toxic him if I do manage to outspeed him. Okay then. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I did not even see what he went for. Also, just a heads up, I'm in my living room and my sister just got home. So if you hear some background noise, and I do apologize, but as I said, just right now is really the only chance I even have to record. So let's see. Um, I'm definitely just going to go for a Toxic because I feel I'll lose nothing in doing so. Plus, I might maybe possibly be able to outspeed him as he decides to hard switch out. This is actually not bad. Seeing as I still am going to be able to get a Toxic off on the Zeb Striker. As long as I do not end up missing that is. As I'm able to luckily hit the Toxic. And now I can put this thing on a timer unless he does turn out to have Heal Bell on the Leafeon. Which could be bad. But I'm honestly not in a bad position. I think. Because much like before I can just safely go for a Baton Pass because I really lose nothing in doing so. So he's going to go for the Vol Switch, which isn't too bad just because I will now be able to get Switch Initiative, which is going to put me in a very great advantage as he gets a crit of his own. <laughs> Obviously, that doesn't matter because I am at 1 HP. So I'm very positive that he is choiced in some sort of way. Also, I know you guys may be wondering, well, why do you have a Choice Scarfer if you have Sticky Web? It's just for Pokemon that are faster even after Sticky Web, because I don't know, that's how I, I like to play with Sticky Web. I like to have at least one Scarfer on the team to ensure that I won't have a problem with uh, Pokemon that are levitating or flying that don't touch the ground or something like Zeb Striker, which is normally Scarf and can outspeed my whole team. So he's going to bring the Magmortar. Um, I really... Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring in my Behem. I honestly lose nothing in bringing in Behem because I can definitely take any one move that he wants to go for, and I believe I do have the Analytic, so my Psychic will be boosted if I do end up going second. As I do manage to go second, and because I'm a Salt Vest, I should be able to take this as... Holy crap, the power is real. So I'm going to go for the Psychic, and thankfully I'm able to knock him out. That was not a crit. That just goes to show you how powerful Behem is. Unfortunately, this Behem is kind of miss EV'd. As opposed to having special defense EVs, I have HP EVs. So that means uh, Fire Blast, especially it's in technical. We'll be doing more damage as he's going to bring in the Fracture. Uh, this is actually a problem. Uh... Hmm. I have to stay in, I think, because I cannot allow him to get up a free Dragon Dance. Because I don't want to have to rely on Blizzard hitting from my Rotom. So yeah, I'm going to stay in and just go straight for the Psychic. As he actually goes for the Substitute, predicting me to switch out. So, good thing I did not switch out, because I was contemplating uh, switching out right into my uh, Rotom, actually. So good thing I did not do that. And I basically get off 25% of damage for free, basically. So yeah, just much like before, have no reason to not just go straight for the Psychic, as maybe I can live this... Live, live? No! Ah, oh, I just got annihilated. Hmm. Actually, you know what this might now allow me to do? I might actually be able to bring in my Arbok to set up. Yeah, because Arbok looks like he can put in uh, some work to his team. Um, then again, I think it'd just be safer to bring in my... My Metatite. Oh, let's see, let's see. But I mean, if I bring in Arbok, I can just uh, safely go for a Coil. Because as I said, I don't want to rely on Blizzard. Because that could probably end up screwing me in the long run. If I Ice Punch, that allows him to get a free switch into Simaseer. Or Sim Simapore, sorry. Which is a problem to my team. Although I guarantee I get rid of this Fracture. Uh, and I don't think a High Jump Kick or Zen Headbutt is strong enough to knock him out. So I am just going to bring in my, my Metatite. Actually, maybe I can run a Damage Calc. Yes, okay, good. 
Metatite, Adamant, Pure Power, Choice Band, uh, High Jump Kick to Fracture. Ah, uh, if he is Eviolite, he just. Oh no, I don't even have. Hello? Okay, let's see. Okay, so I do have a good chance to knock him out if I'm able to hit that is, but I think in the end it's just still safer to go for the Ice Punch. As I do manage to outspeed, and with this being super effective, it should be able to easily knock it out <laughs> for a second there. I was actually a little bit worried that it would be able to live. So, he's going to bring back in the Zebstrika, which I want to say I can live any hit from. But, uh, he could be Specs, which could actually be a bit of an issue. And actually, let's look at it this way. I feel the switch into Rotom is very obvious, but if he does go for the Overheat, that does allow me to get a free switch into Combuskin, and basically get up a free Sword Zance, allow me to just a sweep through the rest of his team, so I literally lose nothing by just switching right into my Rotom without fearing anything, although he could just Volt Switch, but then I will be faster than whatever else he does want to bring in. As he does, just end up making the safe play by Volt Switching. So as long as I keep my Rotom around, I can hopefully maybe bait him to overheat one of these turns and then allow me to basically get a free setup with my Combuskin. So let's see what he wants to do. Uh, what's his best switching? Probably that throw, now that I look at it. Yeah, because it could be Assault Vest. Which could actually be very scary. So, I'm definitely just gonna go for the for the Volt Switch because I lose nothing in doing so. As I manage to get off a decent little chunk of damage. Um, the question is though, is he gonna knock off or uh, circle throw? Well, I, I guess either way, my best and safe switching is my Arbok. As he bulks up, uh oh, this is not good at all. Oh, this is actually very, very bad. I'm in a very bad position right now. Oh, I should have gone straight into Meditite. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, I'm gonna make the risky play and switch directly into Meditite this turn because I have to start uh, wearing this throw down because if I don't do that, then he could possibly sweep me. Although, I guess looking back at it, what I could have done was just set up alongside this throw. As he goes straight for the circle throw. Oh, that's not good at all. Because, come on, Arbok, 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 please. Yes, he just brings me back into Arbok. Okay, this isn't too bad. This is not that bad, actually. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is just go straight for a coil. Because there's a chance he might just want to go for bulk up and uh, try to set up. This thing is a huge, huge problem. As he does just go for the bulk up. So next turn I'm gonna go for the gunk shot. Cause I lose nothing in doing so. And then hopefully he can circle throw me out into my Metatite, which should be able to knock it out with the Zen Headbutt as long as I do not miss. So definitely just gonna go for the gunk shot. Plus there's a chance I could get the poison, which would actually really help me because I'll get that residual damage on him. As Gunkshot does a decent amount of damage as he does end up going for the circuit throw. Please be Metatite. Please, 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 please. Uh, no. He brings me out into my Combuskin. Uh oh. This is really, really not a good situation for me. I'm going to go for the Sword Dance because I have to make the aggressive plays against this throw. So if he does go for another bulk up, that won't be too bad. And unfortunately, I don't have Trick on my Rotom. So I'm really just banking and just hoping he can circuit throw me into my Metatite. Oh, I should have switched directly into Metatite. Because if I would have done that, then dealing with this thing would have been so, so much easier. And I'm going to go straight for the Flare Blitz. There's a chance I can maybe get a crit or even a burn or just something. As... I, that did a pretty good chunk of damage, in my opinion. And unfortunately, yeah. I managed to live, though, which is nice. Please, Metatite. Are you kidding me, man? 
Oh, this is not good at all. This is really, really not good. Damn it, I knew I should have put Trick on this Rotom. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I just really hope he doesn't have the rest, because if he has rest, then I possibly lose. So I have no choice but to fodder off my Combuskin at this point. As he does have the rest. Uh-oh. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go share for the Flare Blitz again. Oh, <laughs> I'm in such a bad position. And I do practically no damage to him. Ah, oh, please don't pull bulk up, please, please. Oh, okay, so he pulls Circle Throw. And this does now give me that well-needed free switch into Metatide. Unfortunately, he is a plus three defense, so I don't exactly know how well this is gonna go. As long as he doesn't get Circle Throw, I might actually be able to 2 KO him, hopefully. So it just, it all really comes down to how much damage this thing does. See, one, this is a good example of one misplay just really, really costing you a game. Come on, Metatite, please. Please. Oh, that did a good amount of damage. Can we get a flinch, maybe? Flinch? No circle throw, no circle throw, no circle throw. Please, please, please. Rest, 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 rest. Really? Oh, my lord. And uh, that is game. He lit. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Odds, everything pointed to odds in my favor, and of course I get unlucky. And there is nothing I can do to this thing. Unless I try to set up with my Arbok. Which I don't know how well that exactly is going to work out because I only have 8 gunk shots. Um, my best bet is for Blizzard to hit and crit. Maybe? Oh, I know, I took, yes! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow, I got the crit and I hit, so I don't know. No, I don't. Ah, I still don't see myself winning this game, unfortunately. Yeah, because this Simapore is still a problem. Um. Oh. And nothing I have switches into this, which basically all I have left is Arbok. So I'm just going to stay in and just Blizzard again. Literally, he had a 33% chance to pull that Circo Throw, and everything pointed to favors being in my odd, but whatever. It's just, I'm very unlucky, if you've been on my channel before. So there's not really much I can do, but I mean, I'm not upset that I lost. It's just that I made a misplay by switching in the Arbok as opposed to bringing in Metatype, but throw do tend to carry knockoff, so I was fearing that. But I guess in the long run, it really isn't uh, too big of a deal. And just, yeah, that is basically the game. You don't win everybody you have, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe we can get a freeze. Oh, if I got a freeze, I'd be so lucky, actually. Freeze? No miss? Ah. And actually, Blizzard did a really good chunk of damage. I was I'm kind of surprised by how much that did. Um, unfortunately, I do not have... Um, Sucker Punch on this Arbok because it's more of a bulky variant. I have rest as opposed to bulk uh, Sucker Punch. So my only chance is to maybe outspeed, which I do not, as he's going to be able to hit the Hydro Pump and most likely knock me out. So yeah, that is going to be the game. I misplayed severely and he got extremely lucky with Sleep Talk. But hey, uh, there's nothing I could do about luck. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to go check out AFA Base channel and my channel, which will be down in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to Lumo Station if you have not already. And with that being said, guys, I will see you all next week. So later, everybody. Oh, my lord. That was such a...